Hey, this is Adam Cox today. It's Motorsports in Vista, California. Uh, working on an American Iron Mustang for the uh, NASA 2016 season. And we're installing uh, some plumbing in the car. Uh, we're working on an oil system for an accumulator. And we got our good friends at Heat Shield Products has uh, got on board with us to uh, install some fire shield sleeve and so we're about ready to do that we're going to show you how it goes anyway stuff's really good it helps keep the heat inside the hose instead of radiating out of the hose uh, this particular line is on the interior of the car so it's important that we keep the heat inside and it doesn't radiate out to, into the driver's compartment um, so follow along as we uh, install this stuff all right, here's, here's our, our steel braided line that we're going to use, and here's a pre-cut piece of uh, the fire shield sleeve from Heat Shield Products. And first thing we do after we cut is we take, I use electrical tape, it's cheap, easy. Uh, do a few wraps around the end. This keeps it uh, from the frayed end, slightly frayed from uh, grabbing the sleeve as you slide it over. So just do about three or four wraps right at the tip. Break it off, and then take your sleeve and feed it over the end. And then to size it up, we're not quite to the end where the fitting is. So what we're going to do is pull it back a hair, give a little space at the end, and then do a, a final trim. So using regular scissors, it's very easy to cut. All right. And then at this point, we go ahead and remove the tape. Install our fitting end. Okay, so the final step in installing the Heat Shield Products uh, Fire Shield Sleeve is to seal the ends of the Fire Shield Sleeve. And what they have is a heat shrink wrap with uh, their logo on it, which is pretty trick. And we just slide it over the fitting. Make sure we place it so the logo is uh, easy to see after installation so we know we have a quality product on the car. Use a, just a standard heat gun. You can buy cheap at, at the tool, tool uh, supply. And it's easy as that. What we have done is we've sealed the ends of the heat, the heat shield products, fire shield sleeve, and by sealing the ends, we keep the heat inside the hose. So if we didn't do that, it would allow the, the heat to escape out the end of the hose. So it is a necessary step to uh, do the installation properly. So be sure not leave that one out. Uh, anyway, now we're ready to just pop, it, pop this part onto the car, and I think uh, we'll be putting some oil in it next. Thanks.